Hello, it's Dr. Rhonda Johnson. Today is Wednesday, December 13th, 2023. And today I'm talking about the new variant in town, JN.1, the Omicron uh, subvariant. So move over HV.1. It was the last variant that I made a video message on. In less than one month, there's a new variant taking over. Say hello to JN.1. It's an Omicron descendant and it belongs to the BA.2.86 family. Now the CDC said it showed up in the United States in September of this year. By the end of October, it was less than 0% of all the variants that were sequenced. And now here, December 13th, it comprises uh, anywhere between 15 to 29%. That's almost a third of all COVID infections in the United States as of December 8th. So according to the CDC, here are some facts about this variant. Uh, the rise of it suggests that it's either more transmissible, that means contagious, or better at evading our immune systems. Also, the CDC says at this time, there's no indication of increased severity and the updated COVID-19 vaccines are expected to work and the COVID-19 tests work and the treatments are effective against this variant. Now, according to the CDC, they don't know if JN.1 infection produces different symptoms from other variants. So again, we'll know in about another week or so. Now there was a preprint article by Japanese researchers that was published on December 8th that suggests that this variant is one of the most immune evading variants to date. What does that mean? It means folks that you're, if you've had a prior COVID infection, that immunity won't prevent you uh, you don't basically have immunity that prevents you from getting reinfected. So, you know, whatever variant that you had before, you can still get this COVID uh, variant. There was another study published in the Clinical Infectious Disease Journal. It was a small study with about 350 some participants, but they looked at rapid tests and when they were most accurate. And they found that the rapid tests for these new Omicron variants are most accurate at four to five days after symptoms started when the viral loads, which means the amount of virus in your body typically peaks. So, you know, most people, they get some symptoms, they test the first day, or they may repeat this test the next day and they're negative and they say, oh, I don't have it. Well, test one more time, like at day four or day five. And then if your test is negative, you may not have it for sure. So what can you do? Remember, it's all about the air that you breathe. So you wanna to try to have the cleanest air possible. I know that's a challenge. I know it seems difficult, but open the windows periodically if possible and safe. Purify the air using a HEPA air filter. Wear a high quality mask in public places. Again, I know not many people are doing that even in hospitals now and healthcare facilities and then do more activities outdoors, weather permitting. So if you haven't had a booster and you uh, want to get a booster, it's not too late um, to get a updated booster uh, vaccine for COVID-19. That's my message as always, take care folks, be safe and be well.